Hello everybody and today I'm gonna show you a game of me playing a random person. Yeah. So anyways, it starts with e4, e5, I go knight to c3, he goes d6, I go f4, he, it takes f4, and I have knight to f3. Now here, I have two knights developed, and I don't know what this accomplishes, which prevents me from doing this, but it doesn't matter if I take this because it's gonna take anyway. Anyways, I took the center, he goes pawn to g6, I go bishop to f4, capturing the pawn. And now I have almost full development while he has all his pieces here. Not developed, I don't know why. Anyways, he goes bishop to g7, finally developing a piece. I go pawn to h4, preventing this. If he goes here, I take... Wait, no. If he goes here, I take, he take... Boom, I can take... He makes his bishop... I don't know. Anyways, he goes knight to f6, I go... Queen to d2, try to breach in here. He goes king to f8, which is, I don't know, what is that move? Anyways, I go bishop to h6. Wait, why didn't he take? He can just take. And then I would take and he take. So, yeah, he didn't take. Anyways, I took the bishop instead. He goes rook to g8. I go and take the knight. He goes and he goes with his king and goes to f6 with his king. I go... Pawn to h5, if it takes, I'm gonna have my rook breaching, breaching in his territory, which he did, and now I have almost all my pieces active in this game, and literally 10, 10 for, 10, I don't know, wait, I don't know, anyways, he goes pawn to b6, I go pawn to d5, he goes bishop to b7, trying really hard to, you know, develop anyways i go pawn to a3 he goes pawn to c6 i go bishop to d3 he goes king to e7 mm. over here i am literally winning because of my pieces being developed but this pawn is hanging oh, wait no that's not hanging and also what the heck did i just do uh my buttons okay over here development bishop blah 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 anyways he goes he goes pawn to c6, I go bishop to d3, developing bi the bishop. He goes king to e7 for no reason again. Hmm. What the heck? Yo, bro, I keep I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Yo, what is the, what is wrong with me? Anyways, right in this position, c6 was played and bishop to d3, he goes king to e7. I go rook to g5, offering a trade. If he takes, I'm gonna have this active piece. Or taking with the queen would be great because it's checked and he, I would need to trade that queen because I have more material. He goes rook to f8, I go in castle, he goes king to d7. Attacking my rook, I go rook to h1, make maybe some possibilities of getting my rook in here. And by the way, what the heck is the king doing? Literally doing a, a dance. King to f f6, king to e7 he goes bro look at this king bro he's literally walking his king to here which makes it safe i don't know anyways i go queen to e2 he goes and takes the center with pawn to d5 which is good because wait it's actually bad because of this pile anyways he goes knight to d7 i go bishop to a6 offering a trade if he takes i would take with check and now my queen is breaching in, which he literally did. Anyways, he goes king to c7, and I go knight to b5. He goes king to b8. I go knight to d6. He goes knight to c5 for attacking my knight and also attacking my queen. What I did do is try to save the queen. He goes king to c7. What the heck? What? Why did he move his king? again you this guy is this guy what bro why why would he move the king instead of eating my knight that is ridiculous anyways he goes king to c7 i go knight to c4 he goes king to c8 another king move which is useless i go knight to e5 he goes and takes the rope that i left hanging why did i hang that oh right because i moved my knight anyways he takes i go king to b1 he goes rook to c8 i go knight to d 
7, he takes the knight, I go king to b8, he goes rook to c7, defending the knight, I go and check him, he goes king to b7. Now, believe it or not, this position is balanced, even though he has more material than me. Because of the queen and the rook breaching in his territory, I take, he takes, I take the rook. Now, I have more material than him now. Anyways, he goes knight to c5. Now, it's mate in one. Just queen to c8 and it's checkmate. Did I di do that? Okay, I did. And that's the end of game one. Anyways, game two was... I don't know, a bit short. I don't know. Anyways, it starts with e4, e5. I go knight to c3. Doing the Vienna game again. It accepts the Vienna game and I go for pawn to f4. He goes bishop to c5, which I don't know what that accomplishes. I can just take and take this space, take the space, which I did. He goes knight to g4. Try to attack this pawn. I'm just gonna take. Did I take? Yes, I, I took. Anyways. I go knight to f3 defending the pawn on e5 which is being attacked up by the pawn of f6. I go d4, um, try to take the full center. If he takes, I take, take, wait. He can just take, bro. He can just take! Yo, okay. What better to do if he takes and attacks my knight? I'm just gonna move my knight away here. And I go there and pawn to c6 was played which I don't know why would he do that that would block his knight and it's a one mover wait is my knight trapped my knight is oh wait I can just go here never mind he goes queen to a5 I go bishop to d2 attacking the queen he goes queen to b6 I go what bishop to c4 what the heck is that move he can just take and breach in with his queen takes boom castle and now i'm protecting this rook and then i soon i will attack the queen bro why do i keep blundering pawns in this game anyways i go bishop to d3 he goes pawn to d5 i go and take the what what yo blunder the queen from literal good position for the black literally now a bad position for him wow also, I'm completely winning here when I didn't even take the queen. And also, it's mate in four. Yo, what's mate in four? It's here. Wait, no. Wait! You're telling me... Oh, wait. Oh, right. If he takes, I take... He takes. Did he take? Okay, he takes. I thought that was the blunder anyways. Anyways, I take the pawn on d5. He goes bishop to f3. I go rook to f3, making my... Rook active again on this file. Although I I would make now a knight go to and jump. I don't know where place to, you know, get this file. Anyways, he goes and takes my pawn on d5. I go knight to d5, taking that pawn on d5. I go, uh, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, wait a second. He played knight to c6. Yo, I can just go here. Wait, why did I resign? Yo, why did I resign, bro? Yo, what? Why did I resign? Yo, bro, why did I did? Why did I resign? Why? Just, why did I resign? Oh, come on. Anyways, in this next game, also, why did I resign in this? I'm literally winning after this po four. Wait, I think I have some things to do. Anyways, in this next game starts with e4, e5, I go knight to c3, he goes knight to c6. I go bishop to c4, copycat variation, no he doesn't, he gambits the pawn, I go f3, if he takes the pawn on e4, I take back, restructuring my center, and what the heck, what? Yo! Why the heck do I keep resigning? Why did I resign again? What's the matter with me, bro? Yo, why did I resign again? <laughs> what? I think that's the last game. That was... That is unexpected, by the way. Re me resigning for no reason. No reason at all. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. This video was, I don't know, pain. Why did I resign? Yes, why did I resign, bro? Yo, ask yourself this question. Who is winning here? Uh, me, because of the development. And I literally resigned. Why? But, why? Anyways, see you guys in the next video. 
please subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video to make me more videos like this and yeah bye